Hey guys, it's Luke here, and I've been a little bit inac inactive on YouTube as I've been not playing many emulators or any games really. Um, anything that's worth like recording or anything, but I'm back um, playing some emulators and some infestation again, and I've stumbled across a really interesting emulator. So this is the MMO. It used to be called Lost Survivor MMO. It's one of those like full PvP. It's just crazy. Like last like, see, I played 40 minutes and my reps crazy high. I'm a guardian already, and I've only killed like a couple. I've only killed like 50 people, and you know it's just I've been having a lot of fun. So I'm going to review an overview and show you a bunch of the shit because it's really fun. And it's really interesting, actually, what type of things they have in their game. So let's start off uh, in the survivor screen. So when you first make an account, you you start with 25 tars, 25 sigs, 10 a dubs, ammo, meds, armor. You start with like a basic setup so you can PvP instantly. Also, your first characters you make have full skill tree instantly, and you can only make two characters. So if I try and make another one, he says you can only, you can't create more than two survivors. So you have two characters only, uh, pretty much one for farming, one for PvPing. And it's Insta Revive and all that good PvP stuff. Uh, I'll show you the loot. So I've only played a little bit. And I have uh, 10 A dubs, tw uh, 36 30 tars, 25 B 93 Rs, a bunch of other snipers. All that good stuff. Then ammunition, I have C mags quite a lot, A dub ammo quite a lot, SVD, BMGs, I don't need any of these. I have tons of armor and stuff, food don't need, meds, almost 200 DXs. Um, and attachments, but uh, the marketplace is really interesting. So basically, uh, to get a lot of money, you need to play on the PVE server as zombies drop tons of money. So basically, if you want to get rich in this game, just go PVE, kill like 200 zombies, and you'll have tons of money. And then a feature I'll show you later is you can go to their website and you can buy uh, packs. So you can log in on the control panel, go to packs, and you can exchange money for packs. So like for 67,000 zombie dollars, you get. 36, 30 tars, and like some. I'll show you later. Um, uh, I'll show you that in, uh, at the end of the video. Um, so here's the process of the weapons. Pretty cheap, uh, pretty reasonable. Ammunition's pretty expensive, but zombies drop it like crazy. Melee's uh, limited. Armor or 1k nearly. Food just buy MREs if you need it. This is the interesting part. So for 5,000 zombie dollars, you get 15 DXs, which is really worth it. Uh, that's why people only use DX. It's really expensive to buy all these things. Uh, also, for $1,000, you get 100 binoculars, which is what I need actually quite a lot of. Uh, attachments are all 1K and stuff like that. So it's it's a really balanced marketplace, and it's a really balanced emulator as far as, even though it's full PvP, it's really balanced. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the volume down quite a lot, and I'm going to PvP like a, a couple runs on the No Way map, because the PvP is really like fast. But I'll show you the maps. Um, I joined too fast. I meant to show you guys the server lists. I'll show you that in my next part. So I'll show you a bit of gameplay here, and then I'll show you. Um, I will show you uh, like the the server lists and the maps and stuff like that. I'll give you a brief overview of what's going on. So, in game, uh, the C mags are increased. As you can see, like the uh, the ammunition part are down here is this is a lot different. Durability doesn't work. You can change items while you're sprinting. Uh, a lot of cool features like that, you know, like really, like really necessary features needed for the game to be like a good PvP emulator. Uh, there's no grass in this game. Shadows are disabled. Some Bambis to kill. You bitches are mine. He's going straight for that gear. Kill him. Another Bambi over there. Someone needs to kill these Bambis. It looks like it's gonna have to be me. There's one at the corner. So, yeah, the, the PvP is rewarding because if you want to be rich, you need to put time into the game. If you want to be, you know, Bambi, basic, you know, you know, to, to be good at this game, you need to put time into it, which is why it's so rewarding. <laughs> the thing that annoyed me about that is he punched me once, which is what I didn't want him to do. Um, I, look at the loot, like people. There's a full go full loot. Eh, uh, he tanked quite a bit there. Is this the end of Luke? He fucked up. He tanked a lot, but I killed him. So let's just get a bunch of, let's just change backpack and grab a bunch of gear and log. Considering there's tons of loot around here. I'm just gonna grab as much ammo and uh, guns as possible. I don't really need armor. 
Just need guns. Oh, it's insta pick up if you if you're wondering why I'm picking up instantly. Kids, sit the fuck down. Why are you starting beef, blood? Let's get all this gear real quick. There's more over here. Tons of DXs. Holy shit. Might as well grab a couple. Oh, over here. More. Holy shit. So if you're like reacting like how I'm. You would not react how I'm reacting right now. I'm pretty amazed about this loot because uh, I rarely bank, uh, to be honest with you. Because the game's full of PvP. I rarely bank. So me banking right now is kind of like really newbie probably to some players but I'm really new to the game the disconnecting is five seconds and the load time is really fast so you load in and out pretty re like reasonably fast and um, like I'm out now and I'll be on the main menu in a couple of seconds like the game load game data is really fast it is joy all over and the items do stack uh, if they have full ammunition so I will just put that's a 40 I might stack with another one down here yeah uh, you do read. It does say there's durability. It does say 100% durability. There is no durability in the game uh, as of right now, and I don't think they're talking about adding it. Um, I wouldn't. Li I wouldn't like to see durability. I think it's kind of annoying. Uh, like it's just one of those things you have to keep on your mind as well. But that's up for the developers to choose what they want. But look, I see. You know, in one run, I bank 30 DXs. So if you are going to play this game, keep in mind you can get reasonably rich really fast because you start off with like 30 of everything. So. Getting rich is pretty fast because you can pretty much make an account and PvP instantly. And if you kill people that have played for a long time, they're just going to keep coming back like me. Um, I haven't played for a long time, but I have enough gear to do like, you know, 100 runs a day for uh, two days, maybe. Actually, no, that's probably an exaggeration. I can, I can PvP a lot, though. So let's take an overview at the servers. So there is, as you see, there's a lot of players. Um, there's a Clearview map, uh, a Colorado map, a Frosty Pines only map, a No, no Way is the map I was just on. Uh, Sam Pavel is from uh, California map, Caliwood. It's a town. Smallville um, is Smallville from Colorado and West Oaks is from Caliwood as well. Also if you read at the side it says SMP, PvP, AR, you know, so SMP means sniper only. PvP means any weapon goes. AR only, AR, ARS means AR only. So if it says ARS it means you can only use assault rifle only. If it says PvP any weapon goes. And that's pretty much the overview of the servers as it goes. So there's PvE and trade server, private servers if you buy them, and if you buy premium you can access the premium servers. Uh, you can buy servers for a, quite a bit of GC. And you can uh, change the map and stuff like that. I don't know. I haven't printed a server yet, so I'm not 100% sure on how that works. As far as options go, uh, you can balance it pretty well. There is VoIP in Colorado only. It's not in the pre in the normal servers just yet. And yeah, that's pretty much overview of the menu and a little bit of gameplay. I'm gonna bring you more gameplay of Lost Survivor with some montages and shit like that when I get around to doing it. But as of right now, guys, this is the basic review. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Hey guys, this is a quick like uh, part to add on to my review. This is the control panel that I wanted to show everybody. So basically, you come on here and you log in. Uh, and from here you can donate, redeem keys, invite friends, character panel, trade, buy packs, history and polls. So if you go to buy packs, here you can see for your game dollars, your zombie dollars in game, you can exchange for items. Uh, so I thought I'd just show you this and I'll link it below so you can check a, like, you look at it yourself. They're also adding a trade construction and all that good stuff. Also you can redeem your GC keys and you can invite friends to the game. And they can, uh, you get like stuff for it. You can also donate. I like good stuff. So you can take a look at this and uh, help yourself and look around. Anyway guys, my name is Luke. Have a good day.